President Donald Trump issued the second veto of his presidency on Tuesday, nullifying a resolution demanding an end to his administration's support for Saudi Arabia as it continues its devastating war on Yemen. No one was surprised by the veto. Had Trump wanted to comply with the resolution, he could have withdrawn support to Saudi Arabia at any time. But the passage of the resolution was notable given that it had bipartisan support. Seven Republican senators and 18 Republican House members voted for the resolution, in addition to all of the Democrats in Congress. Since less than two-thirds of either chamber voted to approve the resolution in the first place, there's little chance that the veto could be overturned. In vetoing the resolution, Trump lashed out at Congress for passing it. This resolution is an unnecessary, dangerous attempt to weaken my constitutional authorities, endangering the lives of American citizens and brave service members, both today and in the future, he said in a veto message. The Congress should not seek to prohibit certain tactical operations, such as in-flight refueling, or require military engagements to adhere to arbitrary timelines. Doing so would interfere with the president's constitutional authority as commander-in-chief of the armed forces, and could endanger our service members by impairing their ability to efficiently and effectively conduct military engagements and to withdraw in an orderly manner at the appropriate time. But as the conflict in Yemen has dragged on, the situation on the ground has only worsened. The United Nations has warned that 12 to 13 million people could suffer from the growing famine if the war continues. And as American weapons and technology have aided the war effort, thousands of Yemeni civilians have been killed in air strikes, though the administration says it is working to reduce unintended casualties. All the while, Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman has been implicated in the killing of Jamal Khashoggi, a U.S.